sunrise over Lake Titicaca from our bedroom window. Today is Nicholas's birthday and also the day we're catching our next train. This is the Puno Cootsco service. Departure is quite noisy as we head along the streets. Soon we are skirting the side of the lake. The train has recently been refurbished and has similarities to the Orient Express decor. After all, they are part of the same group owned by sea containers in the UK. Lunch and dinner will be served along the way and preparations were already in hand. A stop is made at Juniaca to take on passengers and goods. This is the most major stop between Puno and Kutsko. The rear observation car seems a popular place right now. We're on our way. <laughs> there is a street market here just after leaving Juliaca and this is it. The crowds of people flow back and set their stools back up on the track the second the train is out of the way. There seems no end to it as we travel along, just different sections of goods. These are water bottles. Finally, car parts and the bus park. Having left Juliaca, the land is quite flat for a while. Our good lunch commences. As the hills get near, we start to climb until we reach La Rea. This is the highest operational railway station in the world at 14,172 feet above sea level. Galera on our first train journey was higher, but doesn't have regular passenger trains. There's even a small church up here. These sellers rely on the trains for their income and they seem to be doing good business. Back on the train, it's time to see what people have bought. This might look okay on the sofa. Peruvian warm hats are popular. <laughs> Before we realise it, we've arrived at the next station. More sellers.
As the mountains close in, we seem to be following the river from now on. Clouds build up and it will be dark before we arrive in Kutsko.